thank you, Mr. Chairman. I hear it all the time. Our health care system is too complicated. It's too opaque. It's just difficult to understand. Now, I, I'm not a medical professional, but sometimes it feels like you have to be one just to purchase health insurance. I know many of my constituents spend hours poring over websites, brochures, trying to decipher what will be covered, which doctors or health systems may be in network when choosing their uh, insurance plans. I believe one important way that we can help drive down health care costs and increase competition is by increasing price transparency. It should be easy for patients to understand what benefits are covered by their insurance and what they may be expected to pay. Our committee, by the way, has already done great work uh, to achieve this goal, highlighted by the passage of the No Surprises Act in 2020, which will prevent patients from ever receiving an unexpected medical bill again. But more can be done on the front end to help patients understand costs before they seek care so they can compare coverage options and make market-informed health choices. The provisions in this package will improve provider directories, insurer statements on their mental health coverage offerings, and mental health network adequacy. So I'm honored to co-lead one important provision being considered today called the Readable Insurance Coverage Exclamation, or RICE Act, which, by the way, I think is very aptly named, uh, with Congressman Rice and Congresswoman uh, Plaskett. Under current law, insurers are required to publish their summaries of benefits and coverage, SPCs, which seek to lay out in plain English for patients what an insurance plan actually offers beneficiaries. This helps consumers know what they're paying for, and what services will be covered, to help them make informed choices when comparing plans. But consumers today can't always compare how their plan offerings compare to others. The Rice Act takes an important step to boost transparency by requiring all SBCs to be published on a public website. Not only will this give consumers more information, but it also allow researchers, nonprofits, stakeholders, and the general public to have better insights into the coverage landscape. For instance, researchers could use the database to compare coverage op options for a specific disease or region. Information uh, would be shared more broadly, and potential gaps in coverage would be more easily identified. The Rice Act also commissions a report to recommend and define common terms that appear on an SBC so that all insurance companies will use the same language in their descriptions. So this will ensure that SPCs are easily readable to consumers. So this is a common sense solution that will make our healthcare system more transparent, more approachable for our constituents. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I yield back.